we are going to talk about shortcut keys. Now Microsoft Windows has some pre-programmed shortcut keys. You don't have to do anything about them. They're available to be used. Just pick which version of Windows you have. Go right down the line wherever there's an X. That means that that's available to you. And the description tells what it'll do. So that's how you use this setup preset shortcut keys and the win keys. The win keys are the window keys on your left and right side of your keyboard. You hold that down plus you click F for instance win plus F will display the window search find feature. But we're not going to worry about that part today but what we are going to do is talk about how to pre-program these keys and some other keys too because most of these are pre-programmable. The program we're going to use is a terrific program written by a Frenchman that's called Clavier 10.6. It's very well done and it's free. So here we go. Let's talk about Clavier. This is the illuminated keyboard that I use. I have paid $20 for it. And uh, the nice thing about this keyboard is above the function keys, there's a bunch of little buttons that also can be reprogrammed. So you have some extra keys to reprogram. And in mine, this first button is uh, the browser, the, the default browser, Hotmail, search key, my address, my telephone number. Then in the middle here, there's a uh, sort of a half moon, which is the sleep key. And on this side, there's another six. So there's a total of 14 keys across here that are all reprogrammable. So I have those all reprogrammed. And I will show you when I show you how this clavier works, how to identify these keys and what to do with them. But this is a, like a $20 keyboard and with all that extra functionality and the, and the brightness, this is a Sunbeam keyboard. It's the program that I'm describing here for keyboard macros, the best one around and it's free is called Clavier 10.6. So you go to your search engine, you type in Clavier 10.6 download, hit the search button, and you'll get a program, bunch of programs, options. This is the one you want to pick, Clavier Util FR. This is a French utility, free utility, written by a Frenchman. Excellent program. You click on that, you'll not only get the download page, but you'll get all these options about everything about this, this program. The one that you want to download is this one here, Clavier 10.6.1, 7 June 2008. When you get done loading it, and you're going to do it, when you get done unloading it, you're going to do it yourself. You're going to have um, you're going to have a list of all the different options that you've chosen for your all the different ones that you've programmed, all the keys you've programmed. Like Notepad is Win plus N. The way you program, so you have the plus key. That means you want to add one. It'll ask you to tell it which program, which key you want to program. It'll ask you, do you want to have it as text? It'll launch a program, whatever you want, and you'll, it'll be very obvious how to use it. The best thing about this is that at the very end, there's a bunch of examples to show you how to do this programming. And you can certainly find one of those examples to fit your needs. So I'm not going to let, I'm not going to go through all the downloading business. You can do that yourself. Just go to this Go to this one right here, Clavier, and, and hit that, and then you go through the download procedure. When you get all done with the download procedure, you'll get a text file that looks like this. <coughs> it's actually the Clavier file, and you'll have on the left-hand side the keys that you've programmed, and, the, and then on the right-hand side, it'll say what it is, and then it'll say it's a text file, and it'll tell you what it is. So I'm going to describe a couple of these. These actually will. Th this is not my actual file because I got my. I don't want to show you all my uh, passwords and stuff. But the F1 key is programmed to log into a site. I got Ironhead is the username and Ironhead is the password. So when I hit when I when I'm going to go to that site, I put the cursor where the username is. I hit F1, and this program will type in Ironhead. Then it'll type in a tab. And then this Focus 2000 is going to put two seconds. That means stand here for 2,000 milliseconds, which is two seconds. So it's there for two seconds. Then it types in, now it's at the password spot, types in Iron Head, waits two seconds again, hits Enter. And now I'm on that site. And you can do this for a lot of different sites. Just put in your own username and password. 
<clears throat> this is a F2 is one of my passwords. F5 is my email address. If I hit F5, my e email address will show up. Use that a lot. Another password. Uh, here's a Bank of America. I'm going to do that right now just to show you how this works. F9 is right there. And there's a Bank of America comes up. Very simple, very quick. And now we'll go back here. We are on F9. And let's see, PayPal, F11 would be PayPal. I'm not going to do that with you right now. And then one of the buttons at the top of my keyboard will show you the keyboard macro. I wrote out a text file so I can keep track of my keyboard macros. Looks just like this file we're using right now. And then I got my telephone number, my address. Here's Bank of America. We just did that. Does it get Safari? Safari is number 174. So if I want to get Safari, let's see how that goes. Safari. A little slow, but there it is. There's Safari. Um, let's go down here. Now this is very interesting, YouTube. See, I've got YouTube up here, but I've got also YouTube here, so i got a double. I don't need to have this XL. i got to take that off. But see, this is an equal sign. So if I just hit the equal sign, I'm going to get YouTube. Because you don't usually start any programs with equal sign, so you can hit the equal sign by itself, which I'm doing. And there it is. There's YouTube. Very simple. That's my Hotmail. 180. That's one of the keys at the top of my keyboard again. Hit that. That's the second key from the left. And there I am in my Hotmail account. Now this is Notepad. Win plus N is Notepad. <clears throat> Another one I want to show you first though is this one. is very interesting here. Um, This one right here, Win plus I. This is going to show you all your information about your computer. I'm going to hit it right now, Win plus I. And there's all your computer information. Now, Notepad. Notepad is Win plus N. So I'm going to hit the Notepad key, and then I'm going to hit this one right here, which is Win plus the numeric minus sign. And all this text is going to be written. All that's on one key. That whole text, all the text I got there is going to be on one key. So first I'm going to do Win plus N to get Notepad up. And I'm going to expand it because it's going to be pretty big. And now I'm going to hit Win plus the minus sign on the on the uh, numeric keypad. And you see it typed in all that stuff. I just put a bunch of letters. I don't know how big it can be, but I'm sure it can be a lot bigger than this. But you would have a whole form or whatever you want here that you could type out where people would have to put in stuff. So I guess that's the main thing. There's a couple more. Oh yeah, this one right here. Win plus V is Juice Plus. That's one of my sites that one of my sites I sell this stuff. So Win plus V. This shows <coughs> virtual office login. So here's, uh, now this is Hotmail, I did that before. There's another one down here too. This one, uh, this is, I, sp I sell these touch splints. So I hit win but the numeric slash. So win plus the numeric slash. And there's the touch splint site. My touch splint is a, a site where you can buy uh, splints. Splints where you can have feeling in your fingers. Most of these other ones, they get curl around like so. So anyway, that's a little advertisement. Let me see if there's anything else that we can do here. This is a typical thing. If you want to do some website, you just put www.thewebsitename.com. That will go to that website. So that's basically it. That's basically what you want. To, that's the way you use this. So hopefully this is going to be helpful for you.